So <clears throat> what I am seeing here, and I have seen repeated energies within all of these readings that I've done so far for the month of February for the love readings. I, ha I have a feeling that my demographic is, is about going through the same or there's a lot of similarities in situations, which doesn't surprise me, especially during Mercury retrograde. Um, so let, let's just dive right in before I start clarifying with my tarot here. Time for a nap to me symbolizes some kind of time to <clears throat> take a break, maybe from a relationship, maybe from, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're single, maybe you're just, it's almost like spirits letting you know, like, take a break. But then you go the distance. So it's like, for some of you, there has been a time where you did take a break. You know, you took a break, whether you're in a relationship or not. And it's, it's, it's given you time to think things through. It's given you time to contemplate. Um, it's given you time to really assess and reassess things in, in your life, in your love life. And then we have go the distance. So it's like once that's happened, once you realize that, once you come to the conclusions or whatever it is that you're, you're coming to, you go the distance. You know, you start going toward your soulmate or charging toward the soulmate or someone's charging toward you. So take this as it resonates. This can be vice versa. So you place the roles as they, as you wish. So. <clears throat> and this is just what I'm getting without clarifying. So we'll see what, what, what reading we get when we clarify. So we have the soulmates here. So definitely, I feel like someone's rushing toward their soulmate. I feel like, uh, for some of you, it could mean that you're going the distance for someone, you know, like maybe literally going the distance, you know, in person, or it could just mean doing something more for a person that is involved with you, you know, your partner or whoever you're talking to, whatever. There's someone here that's going the distance um, for this other person. And this creates that milk and honey situation where it's very prosperous. It's, it's happiness, you know, it's that rainbow that... Milk and honey, you know, it's sweet. It's, it's, it's soft and sweet and, and, and it's like good energy. So it creates good energy, whatever this is. And then <clears throat> it's almost like not, not focusing on the past, not focusing on the future, but the here and now is what spirit is telling someone to focus on right now. You know, it, it's because this, this here and now is what's going to help you move you forward. You know, it's, it's what's really, matters what really matters is what's happening right now and then we have a leg up so a leg up to me is talking about you know like accepting the help or or extending the help so yeah again something about going the distance here for someone you know helping them or them helping you but something here is like there there, there needs to be an equal give and take here is what i'm hearing and 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 that's a good thing and i feel like this gets cleared up for you because <clears throat> there's been some kind of old stagnant energy that gets cleaned up. It's like spirit comes in and cleans it up for you because I don't know, there could be many reasons why this happens. And then the unfinished symphony here is talking about how in the end, there's always going to be some kind of or feeling of, of unfinished symphony here. Like something's not quite finished yet. Um, I wonder why that's there. I'm, I'm definitely... <laughs> I'm definitely looking forward to clarifying this because we have all that glitters here and then we have poised. So for some of you, you're coming to the realization that not all that glitters is gold, like not all that looks happy and fine is fine, you know, and it's like you both are taking your mask off and realizing, you know, you have a deep knowing of this, that there, there needs to be more to be given here into the situation, the building blocks, you know, putting things together, together, you know, mending. Yeah, absolutely. Chop wood. This is talking about mending the situation and, and getting to work on the relationship or getting to work on something within yourself. If you're single, it could mean that someone's coming in to co-create with you because you know you've been through enough bullshit in your life to not accept, to, to, to know that you don't accept anything lesser. You know, you've observed all you needed to observe. For some of you, if you're already in a relationship, you know, 
there's someone here that has a very loyal heart or someone's coming in with a very loyal heart for you, Cancer. That's not going to make you be stuck between worlds anymore. Could be a divine masculine for some of you. Breathe. Take some time to breathe. Think things through. Yeah, no place like home. Yeah, so I'm getting for some of you, if you're single, it's like someone's coming in that's going to be that equal give and take, you know. And it's it's always going to feel like an unfinished symphony because it, it just goes on and on. You know, it's it's a relationship that feels like it's it's an unfinished symphony from a past life. So it could be a past life relationship. And even if you're partnered with someone or you're dealing with someone, it could feel like this is this is something that has passed on through lifetimes. So it feels like an unfinished symphony for you guys, for you guys that are together. So this is interesting. Let's clarify. Okay, let's clarify time for a nap for Cancer's love life. Thank you, Spirit. Time for a nap. Why is it here? Clarify this time for a nap. Yeah, wow. I got the nine of cups here. So it's like, it's like, again, like I said, you come to the realization of, of what you want and what you need, you know? taking time for yourself to really reassess and see what it is that is going to be um, emotionally stable for me, you know? And and it doesn't matter if you're in a relationship or not, okay? I, I'm going to say that a lot because this is for both of you guys, singles and not. So you've, you've come to the realization that you, you, this time, this, this time that you've taken for yourself or that you are taking for yourself, because we don't know where you are on this timeline, but you know, you're, you're coming to that conclusion. You're coming to that realization. And also this nine of cups reminds me of the, all that, all that glitters card, because, you know, it's a card where there's like, you know, it, it looks like, like a, a treasure, you know, and sometimes the nine of cups can have like treasures inside of the card. And to me, this is talking about how you come to the realization that not that not everything that looks good is good for you. You know, not that it, it, just because a person says something doesn't mean it doesn't make it true. And, you know, just, you're just coming to a bunch of realizations is what I see here. But this, you know, this nine of cups can be a wish fulfillment, you know, that comes after a time uh, of, of a time of restoration. That's the word. Let's see. Go the distance. Why is go the distance here for cancer? In their love life. Why is go the distance here for cancer? cancer, the distance here. Yeah. We have judgment here. Okay. So judgment to me is definitely about using your better judgment. Okay. For some of you, okay, I, I have to say this storyline because it, it, it is for very few of you, that there could be someone here coming in after a period of not being in your life, okay? I just have to put that out there. It could be an ex coming back or someone that wasn't in your life before and they're coming, they're going the distance for you. It could be a soulmate. Um, now, I also feel like the going the distance card could symbolize using better judgment. Someone's using better judgment now. Someone is coming to that inner realization. Have they've done a lot of reflection, a lot of um, reckoning, you know, and listening to their inner voice, you know. Instead of bickering, instead of going back and forth, um, could it mean that there was, if, if you're partnered, could it mean that there was a lot of back and forth, a lot of... Um, conflict between you guys could have been and this is all coming to 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 an end you know it's all it's all dissipating but it's your judgment call or someone's judgment call here about this um but i do see that a time of mental conflict too even though this is more physical some kind of competition here maybe from a time of competing with oneself or feeling like you're competing with others. I don't, I don't know. There's there's so many different messages here. Okay. Let's see. Someone's releasing some kind of burden here with the Ten of Wands. Yeah. 
And then the Ten of Swords right under. Something's coming to an end so that something better can begin, if that makes sense. Okay, why is soulmates here? Why is soulmates here for cancer? Wow. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Sorry. Let's get one more. Why is soulmates here for cancer? Thank you, spirit. Thank you, Amos. Why is soulmates here for cancer? Okay. <clears throat> we have the emperor here. So to me, maybe this signifies that it, this is an Aries that is your soulmate, you know? Or just the fact that there's some control being gained in a situation where there's two soulmates involved, okay, involved, which which is basically what I've been saying. There's some control that you're finally taking, you know, after a period of, of restoration, like I said. We have <clears throat> we have the ten of swords here. So again, there's something that's coming to an end so that something better can begin. You know, it could be the bickering, the fighting, it could be anything, literally anything. So if you can think of something that's coming to an end within a situation so that something better can start or something better can come along, then that's what it is for you. You know, I'm not saying that there's a relationship ship here that's coming to an end. That's not what I'm saying at all. Okay. But again, there's a new opportunity here, you know, with the page of pentacles. So like I said, something ends so that something new can begin. And this comes after a period again of self-reflection of of inner you know inner listening to the inner inner guidance inner knowing you know um this could be a virgo too i have virgo here taurus capricorn so yeah and here we are this new opportunity here this is beautiful okay let's see milk and honey why is milk and honey here for cancer So this is, again, this is, like I said, <laughs> it's like, it's almost like spirit keeps repeating the same message over and over different cards. There could have been a time, Cancer, where one of you, and if you're single, this is just means, you know, whatever it means to you. But there's like an entrapment feeling here. Trapped in a situation, trapped in something, you know. This is kind of like imprisonment or feeling powerless, you know, or even self-victimization for some of you. But like that's over, you know, this, this rope has been cut out, you know, there's been some kind of realization, some kind of, I don't know, it's like an awakening for some of you. Where now we see celebration, you know, happiness coming in with other people. For some of you, you could have had a third party situation back in the day, you know, whatever, whatever that resonates with, with some of you. And it made you feel like you came into like this imprisonment thing, but that's, that's all dissipating. It's all, it's all coming to an end, but that's for some of you, not all of you. Um, but I do see here this time of celebration now coming in a lot of self love, a lot of love between two people, this milk and honey. I keep, I keep hearing soft and sweet, soft and sweet. Maybe the person you're dealing with is soft and sweet or someone you're thinking about is soft and sweet. Or that's what you want. You know, we want someone coming in that's soft and sweet. So take that as it resonates. Let's see, here and now. Let's clarify the here and now for Cancer's love life. Why is here and now here? Why is this card here? Yeah, wow. Look at this. This is... This is beautiful. The here and now, it's focusing on building this here and now. You know, the three of pentacles could mean teamwork for some of you. Could mean that for some of you, you could be getting involved with someone from work. But that's, that's very few of you. Um, I do see, though, collaborating with one another, collaborating with your partner. You know, there again, there could have been a three 
three person situation here. Now, when I say third party, it does not mean that you got cheated on or that someone che you cheated or whatever. No, sometimes it just means that an outer influence could have influenced the the situation, whether that would have been for the better or the worse. Who knows? You, only you know your story. But with the three of pentacles here, it's talking about focusing on the here and now to build something to build this partnership because we do have the lovers here on top of my deck i keep seeing fire signs so you could be dealing with an aries leo or a sagittarius but focus on the here and now focus on what you can do now what can you work on now whether you're single or not what can you do right now whether this would be in a relationship or by yourself. What can you do right now? This is what spirit is telling you. Now let's see. Why is a leg up here? Why is this card here? Why is a leg up here? Okay. Cancer. Why is this card here? Why is a leg up? And there goes the lovers again on top of the deck. Okay, so we have the two of wands here that fell out. And the two of wands to me is talking about some kind of plans or, or planning something for the future. So in your mind, you're planning on making sure that this connection is an equal give and take. Making sure that this connection is something that you can help each other on. That's how I see some of you. Others of you, it's like this is this is coming in now. It might have felt like for some of you that someone was not budging for a while, you know, not wanting to help out, not keeping things to themselves. But I feel like this is all shifting for you. Because now you're going to receive that help or someone's going to give it to you, know, or, or you're giving that help, however this resonates. Um... Again, we have earth here. It's like a situation that, that turns for the better. Something that shifts in your life. Where it's more secure. Something more long term. This could have been money. There could have been some money issues between you and your partner. That now gets resolved. Because now you're planning together. You're putting things together. You're going to help each other out for some of you. If you're single, it's it's about someone coming in that is going to truly be your equal, you know? 